Hi, y'all. I figured out something with this chromatic. I figured, okay, I can't really play it in first position, but I never really tried it much either in that. And, um, uh, where you have to use a lever, and then all of a sudden my lever started to work, but really you don't have to necessarily use a lever on it. Um, so I thought, uh, you know, uh, I'll explain on this piano. I'm at the piano too, so I'll explain. If you're in C, the key is C, and I, I guess the other keys it works the same. If you're just playing a series of notes like that, that's in a E, really D, E, e flat for my on normal people. This is pianos of the half step. Anyway, um, so um, which makes me not normal, I guess. The weird piano, but anyway. The thing is, is that I figured out with this chromatic a little thing, um, because I was messing around, thinking of this other lick that I did the other day, and, uh, I just thought I'll try it on this, and then, but it's not in third position, because third position, on, automatically on a chromatic, gives a minor sound. <laughs> When you say you're in a band, you want to say, okay, it's in D minor, because you're playing third position. I mean, it will work in a major key, but it will sound, there will be some notes that sound a little bit strange. But anyway, um, but then the thing I was trying is not in that key, so it's like...
So the last thing I was trying to do was end it with that pentatonic uh, major scale, which is... Or the so I was working off the pentatonic major scale and the and the major scale that. So that was in C. So if you have a so I realized well I can play in first position on this harmonica just by. Instead of always just playing in third, that's because it's it's all sort of, it's all built in. Because the, the, it's a C chromatic. Same thing, you know, on the piano when you're playing well any key, you're just all if, that's like. If you start on your, um, that's an F, technically. I mean, it's uh, fingering for me. It's an F, really, it's an E. But anyway, um, here I'll, I'll put the camera down here so you can see what I mean uh, a little bit more on the piano here. Uh, but say you're just a total beginner with the piano, and you want to just, you know, they suddenly says, okay, this is middle C here. You just want to have a little bit of fun with it, so you can just go. Just by single notes like that. to play and fool around with it like a you know do intervals like you know that that each black note represents a half step in other words white against white that's a half step so you can even just play it around like that Anything, or just play the black keys by themselves.
recognize some sounds that you know you make that oh that sounds familiar from the past or something. Up for the harmonica by thinking like okay that's a cool lick there actually since I'm half step up higher it's I will translate it into what you guys would be doing it would be you're really it would be your a your a and then your um C and then your D and then your F and back to your D Your A, your C, your D, and then your F, and then back to your D. Have fun with this thing. Don't let the fact that you never played an instrument get in the way of trying to play it. And if you get to see your harmonica or see chromatic or something, just blow into it and go. And then work on those getting the single notes. You can be doing tricks like that. Sound like a barking dog. Okay, y'all. Have a nice night, evening, morning, or day, wherever you're at in this crazy world. See y'all later. And have fun with these things. It's, that's what they're all about, you know? Playing them and having fun. No matter what level of where you're at with it. Okay, see y'all there.